you know, I, I began by making um, textures. My dream is to be in a museum. That's my dream. And it'd be cool to have a, an event where, you know, maybe the lights go off and, and the painting lights come on, you know, and maybe add a little music and, and create more of a, a theatrical event in a gallery setting. Everybody sees that, you know, they experience it differently, but it seems to really be happening. And uh, it's exciting for everybody. You know, I make textures, really, you know, and then uh, I use shadows to accentuate those textures. With flow, I think about um, landscape and water, erosion, and maybe uh, meteors. You know, I, I see those those points almost like um, part of a landscape, whether it be trees or or rock formations or something like that. So it, it, it can take up a tremendous amount of time. But usually, when I start painting, I kind of get into a get into the zone where I'll paint 12 or 15 hours and at a time. I focused and, and painted for like nine months straight and uh, put in a tremendous amount of time. So I had several pieces hanging in my house. And one day, uh, a friend of mine said uh, that he wanted to purchase one of my paintings, which, uh, which I was pretty surprised by. and. And uh, you know, I kind of laughed it off and said, I, "I'll just give it to you. I, I didn't, I didn't paint anything to sell it, you know." But he insisted on 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 buying buying the painting. Um, and uh, ultimately, his wife bought the painting for him for Christmas a couple of years ago, and that was a turning point for me. That by him doing that. Um, it validated, validated what I was doing. You know, my dream is that I'm doing something unique, you know, and uh, unique enough that it could be shown in a museum. what it comes down to is like I know what's cool you know what's cool to me and so far other people seem to agree you know so I'm not doing it for anybody else but me look when I'm when I'm making something it's only I'm only making it to my eye you know so I don't know how anybody else is going to experience it I can't you know but so far the things that I've done um, People seem to appreciate it, you know? So I do what's cool to me, and, uh, and it seems to be working for other people.
first painting that my friend bought is currently resides in Beverly Hills, California. Everybody has a, a, a comment about it, you know, people, people get kind of excited about it, you know. But if you haven't seen a painting breathe before, then, you know, that's kind of exciting. What am I trying to convey to people and stuff like that? I'm not. You know, I, I, I never, I've never done this for anybody else but myself, you know. And the things that have happened, have happened. You know, when I, when I make a painting, I don't, when I'm not painting it going, I wonder what this is going to, you know, if I do this, then it's going to have this certain response with lights and whatnot. I'm never thinking about that. So what I want people to, to uh, experience when they see my art is, is more with the, with the lighting and uh, um, additive. Um, it becomes more of a, a, of a theatrical piece, more so than a static painting. No painting is ever finished, or no artwork is ever finished. It's just abandoned.